Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 23 of Direwolf20's server play series. Hanging out uh, in Soren's streaming channel. I know Tema's on the server on Mist and Soren, and uh, I know Lemming's here, and a bunch of other people that usually hang out in Soren's streaming channel. How's everybody doing? Good. Doing good. Pretty well. Good to hear it. I need to make some steam engines, because um, I went ahead and made some steam power, but I didn't make steam engines. Uh, so at the end of last episode, I disabled my steam power uh, because I didn't want it burning coal for no reason at all. I'm pretty sure my um, my my, uh, my my forestry tree farm is probably not going to be able to handle the amount of coal that I need. But we're going to see how it goes, and we might have to supplement with a golem tree farm. I have an idea or two. We'll see. Uh, so I want to make... Um, I have an 18 block boiler so i can do nine industrial steam engines or 18 commercial steam engines uh lemming basically told me that his steam engines use about as much steam as a commercial steam engine does so i'm thinking i'll do seven industrial three commercial and then remember the steam oven i have uses the same as one commercial so that'll be the fourth commercial so that that should be good so i need to make seven industrial steam engines we're gonna have a good time uh, mm -hmm. So I should be able to pull that off, right? Yeah, I think I just need... Uh, so 21 plates. That should not be a problem. Should have plenty of steel. I'll just make, you know, 32 plates. Because I'll probably use them at some point later. Heck, I'll probably eventually upgrade things, right? Um, and then uh, while I'm at it, I'll need 14 of uh, my good friends the gears. So that ought to do. So how you doing, Soren? Good. Nice. How's uh, all your stuff coming along? Pretty good. Cleaned yeah? A lot of code today. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's good to hear. Basically, we went through, I don't need this, I don't need this. <laughs> oh, cool. So, uh, a, a coding kill it all type deal. Pretty much. Nice. I have fun with that. You know, it's faster. Vanilla hoppers are slow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pistons, I need 14 of. Good thing I have to have a lot of them. Enough for now. And you're done. Cool. So, industrial steam engine, go. Beautiful. Um, now, the only other thing I'm going to need to deal with is getting the steam from our boiler over to Lemming's stuff. How about Tesseract's Lemming? How much can they transfer? Uh, same as before, there's actually not a limit. Okay, so if I plugged a Tesseract next to my steam boiler, it would be able to transfer unlimited amounts of steam. Well, it'll transfer, basically, whatever you put into it will come out, but right. it's a question of throughput at that point, so, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just two things are unif- I mean, it's, it's one point in space, so however, if you can put, you know, 800 into it, you can get 800 out, but you got to something to accept that. Gotcha. Um, and right now you said fluid ducts can only transfer a hundred at a time. A hundred at once, right? Yeah. A hundred per tick, millibuckets. Right. How much does the commercial steam engine or your steam engine use per tick? Twenty. Okay, so on one fluid duct I can power five engines. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that that doesn't sound terrible. Um, so what I'll do is probably I should probably just put these guys right on here. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to really do seven when the single side face is six. That sounds like a bad time. <laughs> All right, I'll figure that out in a minute. We all also probably want to go for a Tesseract um, because we're, we're not only going to use the steam power here. We're probably also going to teleport the steam to somewhere like a quarry to power it. But we'll get to that later down the line. I'm thinking move a couple commercial or industrial steam engines down to the quarry and just power it directly on site with a Tesseract. But I'm also considering a couple other crazy things. I don't know. It might be, it might be a little nuts. I'm not going to lie. 
but it could be a lot of fun too. So I, I might do something a little silly with that, but we'll get there. Um, for now, I just need to make myself, I think, one more uh, steam engine of yours, Lemming, and then I'll be able to get this ball rolling. So how about I get ready to make um, a couple things and then be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and uh, I'm going to set up the Tesseracts over here. So what I'm going to do is remove this water setup that I've got going on, because we don't need it anymore. That's right. No longer needing this water thing happening. Well, uh, I, I do need it, don't I? Yeah, Igneous Extruder uses water, doesn't it? Oh, All right, I do need it. Uh, you go here. And, I got you. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. All right, mm -hmm. so we do need that still. I lied a little bit. Um, maybe I should just move that that igneous extruder somewhere. We we probably could move it somewhere, Soren. Maybe we, we should move it into the into this room over here because Perhaps, I need I need yeah. the space here for a few more engines anyway. And you already have a water gen. Do I have a water gen in there? Oh, I mean right here. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, if you want to do that for me, or I'll do it in a minute, because I just want to clear this whole thing out. Wow, is my inventory yeah. full. Yeah, you can put it, like, right next to the uh, macerator. Sure. And have it so water comes in and the lava also comes in. I could do that, couldn't I? Since it's right there. There you go. All right. Um, All right. So let's get this set up, guys. I want to show you something really cool that Mr. Lemming made. Uh, first off, I want to have more power flow. I'll get these. Well, let me just clean this whole line up for a second. That ought to do. Perfect. Okay, so do you so have any power two. lines, Soren? I see you made like a thousand in one of them. I can get you about seven back. I only need like three. Give me wool. <laughs> what? All right. Um, here, let's see if my strongbox has any. All right, there you go. Oh, thank you, strongbox. Look at my Soren chest. I know. It's mobile, thanks to Lynn. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you guys strongboxes in a second, I promise. So, King, are you still watching stream? Yeah. You see how many conduits he's used? Yes. What? You see an easy line he could have made? Yes. What? Shut up. <laughs> I was trying to make it look half decent. I decided, by the way, guys, to go with um, five steam dynamos instead of, um, instead of three. And then I'll go with six industrial steam engines over on the boiler so that should be just a little bit more efficient uh, but first we need to set this up to accept liquids so we're going to set up a, a liquid frequency so now i assume that since i already used frequency one lemming and because it's liquids like i don't want to use frequency one again probably not unless you've got those other ones set up properly to not send receive energy and all that stuff i do well, then you could use one again if you wanted to. I probably could. So, Soren, can you interact with this Tesseract? Now it's hard to walk in here for people who are not me. <laughs> it's a back room to a back room. <laughs> so can you interact with the Tesseract? Uh, no. No. I could have lost my hand. It, it it could have happened. It's it absolutely true. So let me do this. Soren, successfully added to your friends list. And I'm changing this from owner mode to restricted mode. All right, can you interact with it now? Hmm? You can? <gasps> Whoa. Yay. Hooray. How cool is that? So there's actually a GUI, you don't have to type it in, but I think it's broken, COFH friend GUI. 
Yeah, I got that same unknown error, Lemming. So Lemming is uh, aware of the error that we're getting, and he's going to fix it for next version. But there's a little GUI you can use to add and remove friends. But long story short, you could also um, just type uh, friend, add, or remove. So if I removed Soren as a friend, he wouldn't be able to interact with the Tesseract anymore. But that's okay, Soren. You can stay my friend. Yay! And uh, that goes the same for anything that's locked down by, uh, by uh, COFH. Like... Reinforced strong boxes, which are um, lockable chests. So you can see the owner of this is Soren, but he has it on the heart mode, which is friendship mode. That's what I'm calling it now. And uh, basically, I can open his chests because they're in owner mode uh, with the with the little um, restricted mode. So put it in um, owner only mode, real quick, Soren, and I should not be able to open the t the chests. Right. Yeah. This is the. Hmm? Put it in owner only mode, so I shouldn't be able to open the chest. Uh, oh, that's cool. I like how when you hold shift over the strong box, you can see what's inside of it. Yeah. That's really neat. And you can put strong boxes right. inside strong boxes. Owner only. Oh, this reinforced strong box is private and belongs to Soren. I could have lost my hand. Oh, there we go. It's, <laughs> it's friendly again. Can store things that can store things, so you can store things while you store things. I like it. Yes. <laughs> that's cool all right so like i said we only want to have uh one well we're gonna need six of these so should this stuff over here be like emergency power that's what i'm thinking let's break all this <laughs> we'll let all this stuff uh kind of run its course for a little bit but i'm gonna get some pipes so that this all works properly going to need more of you and several of you I like that lemming that's really cool that you can like have other people interacting with your stuff now well working on it it's not perfect yet I mean it's pretty cool I like that you know like obviously I can't interact with the tabs or anything so only Soren can change who has access to his stuff correct yes Right. Right. Huh? No, no warning. <laughs> okay. I'm not that crazy yet. Okay. Uh, I need a pipe plug. I'll get one in a minute. I don't like that connecting there. All right, that should do relatively nicely. Energy will flow through there. Let me just get my tidying up tools. Gonna want some gates, probably six of them. Gonna want some pipe plugs, which I might have some of over here somewhere. Guess I don't have any handy. We'll make a couple. See, Soren, I'm making things look nice. Impressive. I'm trying. I don't always succeed, but, you know. Just try not to use 10 extra pipes where we don't need to. Why? <laughs> so. There we go. Oh, oh. Yes, excellent. <laughs> that looks good. I think that'll be cool. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this party started. The only thing left to do is uh, take this tesseract, and I'm just going to place it right on top here. I'm going to make sure it's in restricted mode. I'm going to put it to frequency two, and the configuration will be sending fluid. Now, of course, you could leave this configuration however you want it. Like it doesn't hurt. Like if you don't, if you have like frequency receiving, you know energy or items well items might hurt you don't want items to go in the steam boiler but energy receiving probably doesn't matter 
Um, will these transfer Billcraft energy, Mr. Uh, Lemming? They will not. It's redstone okay. flux, but a conduit on the end of it will convert it to Billcraft. Oh. Wait. Wait. So, okay, right. So if I have a conduit on the other side of it, on the receiving side, and I plug it into a Billcraft machine, it'll power it? Yep. Okay, cool. That's neat. All right, I think we're ready for this party to start. So let's first off get our hopping chest right back up here. Hopping barrels are awesome. Do you see how I have my setup here, Soren? Yeah. Nice, right? No. So the hopping barrel receives from the tesseract that's being sent from the tree farm into the steam oven, and the steam oven's creating charcoal, which goes straight into the steam boiler. I'm reheating the steam boiler with my refined fire stone. I let it cool down because I knew it wasn't going to be a big deal to get it up to max temp. It takes like less than five minutes at this point with a refined fire stone to get max temp on the steam boiler, which should be good. Like, I'm, my, my only real question at this point is, will... And did I set you to send a receiving fluid? I sent you to sending fluid. So this thing should be cruising now. If I come over here, we should see... Oh yeah, look at this. There's steam in here, guys. Look at that. Steam in all of them. Beautiful. So we're now producing, uh, what, 200 redstone flux per tick, plus the 80 over here? Nice. So we should be creating lots of uh, redstone flux now. Excellent. Um, is there any automated way to read energy, Lemming? Uh, what do you mean? Like, I say guess. I wanted to set up a contraption a that gate. would be like, if uh, the redstone flux in the in the storage unit up there was below half, turn on not the yet. We, we need got to do that. Cool. It's it's a thing. You're right. Uh, it would be neat, but it's not the end of the world. We could probably add some gate stuff in there for that, but I don't know how useful that would be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, comparator logic actually might not be terrible. You'd make it probably work with a vanilla comparator. Yeah. Oh, that would be neat. Wrong one. Apparently doing it again, but I'm not sure what it is, unfortunately. <laughs> Nifty. And last one. Power requested. Redstone signal. Nice. So we're producing steam. We've already cut our steam boiler up to 600 degrees C. That thing is fast, let me tell you. Uh, but remember, like I said last episode, guys, steam boiler only produces more steam once it's fully heated up. It does not become that much more efficient. It's more about the heat produced by the unit that you put in it. So the refined firestone, while it heats it up very quick, only has 250 heat per charge. Um, where, you know, other things like, you know, oak wood planks, for example, have 0.3 heat. Uh, charcoal has 1.6K heat. Um, and coal has 3.2K heat. So coal's better than charcoal. Interestingly, I'm just curious of something. Just wonder if there's any like thing I don't know about pile of ashes. Eh. How about <laughs> coal coke? How much heat it is that? That doesn't have a tool tip. Oh, probably because it looks like it has to be in your inventory. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. There we go, 6.4K heat. So coal coke is twice as much heat as coal is. So that's cool. Yeah. Only when you have the steam boiler interface open does it look like it shows you the heat level. No, I see it uh, on cold code. Yeah, on the cold code block, I see it. Do you? Yeah. In. In the ice. Randomly. And then divide by nine. Hmm. I only see it. Oh, it says 50, 57,600 fuel units. Yeah, and then you divide that by nine, that's the cold coke. It's like... Oh, open up the interface here for the steam boiler, and then mouse over it, and you'll see a yellow tooltip. 
on what? On anything like cold coke or blocks of cold coke, anything like that. You probably have an extra. Oh, added. you know what? I have Whale installed. I'm testing Whale. Oh. It's a spotlight that is coming soon. Yes. That's probably what's doing it is Whaler. What am I looking at? Yes, what am I looking at? Whaler. How <laughs> now? It's a cool mod, dude. Like when you turn on the tooltip, it shows you exactly what you're looking at mm -hmm. and like what mod it's from. And it'll show you in interesting details about it. So like a lever, you can see the state as being on or off. There's a lot of stuff it shows. I'll do a spotlight, a full yeah. proper spotlight on it very soon. Um, but it definitely shows you exactly what mod everything is from, that kind of thing. It's neat. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got Steam running. Look at that. Um, I'm going to let this guy get up to close to full and then uh, take the Firestone out. I'll probably go recharge it, too, in some lava. And then uh, let the charcoal run, and we'll see how we make out. Um, I'm going to go write down the number of wood that I have right now as we do this thing. So I'm pulling from here, and we have 118 stacks. I'm going to come back in a little bit and see how many stacks we have. And if it's less than 118, well, then I'm going to know we're in trouble. Well, actually, it should be less because I didn't do this. Hang on. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Quick, faster. Let's see, I need... I just need to turn on my power now. Okay, 43 stacks of wood. Um, so what will happen now is, remember, the, 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 the things act like um, hoppers. So they should fill this one first, then it'll fill over here, right, next. And what I'm going to do is, um, you know, hopefully, I won't, if I don't pull any items out of this barrel, then we should be accurate in the amount of wood that we're using versus producing. So I'll be back shortly to figure that out. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so good news and bad news. Good news is I want to make something cool. Uh, I'm making a flux capacitor, which is basically a battery. Um, other good news, Slowpoke joined us. What's up, Slow? Hey, hi. Uh, hi, everybody. How's it hi. going, buddy? It's going really good. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I use decorating much as uh -oh. Nobody's seeing me at the moment. Yeah. Well, but I, you're in my future anyway, so nobody will. By the time this goes out, people may be seeing me again. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> no, no, I mean, so it should be. I don't know. How far behind are you, Diet? I'm not too far. You, you'll probably be done. You'll be fine. Mm. Uh, a few days. Okay. I've just looked at what you were doing, sorry. And apparently, you know those fireboxes on the spoilers? Yeah. I have to go shout at Covert about them. Why? Apparently they're really, really bad on the servers. Oh yeah? Go figure. Oh. The boiler bit is totally fine. But for some reason, those fireboxes? No. Not so good. You know, uh, you've played with Opus. Yeah, you've done the spotlight on Opus, haven't you, Diane? Yes, Opus, yes. Yeah, apparently those things do not play nicely with Opus. No? That's what I was told yesterday, yeah. Interesting. Surprising. So, yeah, it is very surprising. I don't understand why that would be. The other ones that, that the other blocks that showed up that I found really interesting with not nice. But you know the single block apiaries from Forestry? Yes. Those, apparently, not so great. Yeah. Um I'm told it's because of the amount of data they have to store. And the particle effects that come off. Which I suppose kind of makes more sense. Makes a bit of sense. Um, what are the other things? Something in Buildcraft. Buildcraft pipes are not great. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I don't want to put this here. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh. The uh, hmm. steam engines that you put here, you put pipes, didn't you? Uh, what? Next to the boiler. What? I haven't uh, logged out since you placed the pipes. Oh, yeah. Are they not <laughs> sinking for you? 
No, they never are when you place them at the rewild every time you place a pipe. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Maximum power, 5,000 RF per tick. Wow, energetic infuser can take a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, it can. That's very interesting. Now, that's interesting also is that it doesn't look like it's storing up its internal power buff. Is Lemming still here? No. No, he went to bed. Oh. Ari's here, though. What's up, Ari? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Cool. I'm just editing. Okay. Ooh, something Dyer doesn't do. So, um. <laughs> cool. Not so much. <laughs> no, it's true. Oh, <laughs> So rude. He does do just... some editing. I have seen him do edits in the past. As have I, but... He edits a lot when certain people are in the room when he's recording. Right. Not on this channel. <laughs> uh, beep, 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 beep. It's Morse code dial. I like that tune. <laughs> oh, really? oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait. We don't have any modifiers left, do we? That's why. I need a gold block and a diamond. Oh, check out this cool mod that we have on the server. Bump it bump. Yeah. 50% of us only have this fleet. I know. I'm going to spotlight this mod. Maybe I'll just highlight the segment and it'll be the spotlight, because that's about all it does. <laughs> was it Quetzi who made it, or... Who was it? What's the mod? Um, Morpheus? Yes, Morpheus is the name of the mod. Um, it's basically like when somebody sleeps, it sends out a chat message letting you know that they're sleeping, and only 50% of the people on the server have to sleep to pass the day. Yep. So rather than waiting on everyone to sleep. You know that thing I've been asking for forever? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. You're cool. You of course you um, are. Look at the hammer texture when like I applied the flux tool to it. What did you do to it? It has like oh, a little goodness. like mechanical looking drill on it oh, now. Goodness. I'm scared. How cool I'm is scared. that? That's awesome looking. It has like a little drill on top and it has a little storage unit on there. Yeah. And it can store RF now. They were saying that it was a cool texture. It is a cool texture on the hammer, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome looking. I'm just curious like how much use there is in that. Oh, okay, cool. I guess that's doing its thing. Mm. Power usage 75 RF per tick. Why would you only use 75 RF per tick? I don't know. So it has a long way to go to charge itself. Um, cause it looks like it holds 400,000 and it's up to 40,000, so it's maybe 10% of the way there. Okay, yeah, the progress bar is moving. I wasn't sure if it was. So yeah, you can, uh, just like you could put in the past, um, you guys should know. It's something I rarely did, but it was always doable. Um, let's get this book out. Come here, you. Um, you could always, if you wanted to, what is it? Is it a battery that you put on for IC2 stuff, or is it the electronic circuit? It might be the circuit. Or maybe it's a circuit and a battery. I don't know. I forget. There we go, yeah. A battery and an electronic circuit would allow the tool to become electric. Um, and it uses energy instead of durability while charged. And it's available from uh, if you have Industrial Craft 2 installed. Um, so basically, the same deal applies. Um, it's not in the book yet, but it's the same exact setup. Um, you just put it in there, and it can use RF power and uh, store RF energy, which is neat. Redstone Flux, as it's called. <laughs> have you seen uh, Thermal Expansion in the new version yet, Aurelian? She's like, I have muted you. Or my mic uh, I'm not sure what she did. What? Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> what? I'm just asking if you've seen Thermal Expansion yet, the new version of it. I have not, no. Well, he created a new energy system called Redstone Flux. Mm hmm And he made the batteries called Flux Capacitors. Yep. I almost asked that. I when... It's perfect. When you said flux, I was like, does it have a flux capacitor? I asked it does. You if I make a minecart go 88, can we have time travel? I've been asking um, for a time travel mod, and I think Lemming's the one to do it. So far, yeah. So, so we're going to need oh, more wouldn't wood. It be crazy? Wouldn't it be crazy if it could track, like, your movement on the server for, like, the last, like, two hours, and you could go back and see yourself what you were doing in the game? <sighs> yeah, I know. Crazy, right? 
this hammer looks like it's storing quite a bit of durability, so that's good. Yeah, ah, so, so we definitely need to either make mm. another tree farm or we need to make another type of tree farm. But we need more we need more wood at the end of the day. <laughs> so Steve's carts, golems, or another forestry one. That's the question. If we did another um, forestry one, it would probably be pretty straightforward to put over here. We could clear out some more terrain. We could even use the filler now that we have redstone energy cell things. Oh, wait, no, we it. can't. No, because they don't store buildcraft energy, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. You just hook up a conduit to it. I've got it work? single player. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Nice. So as long as you hook up a conduit to it, it'll feed it, even though it's RF energy yeah. going in. Okay. It'll convert. Nice. That sounds cool. Okay. I'll get the cell. All right. So YouTube will be back. So guys, what I think Soren and I will do is maybe off camera, because we've already set up a forestry tree farm, no need to see us do it again. We'll kind of clear away the terrain. Um, you know, if we run into any issues, we'll let you know. And then maybe get a second forestry tree farm going up. Maybe two of them of this size will be sufficient um, to, to do what we need it to do. Uh, worst case, you know what we should do, Soren, is we should probably... We should probably move it back a few blocks just so we could, if we want to, bump up this farm here to the max size tree farm. Probably wouldn't mm -hmm. be a bad idea. The reinforced strong box is pretty darn cool. I'm not going to lie. I know. It's like a it's, portable storm chest. And I could put nice. another one inside. I know. That's perception. That's awesome. Exactly. Oh, that's no. exactly what it is. It's amazing. And hooray, my Dire Hammer 20 is almost fully charged with redstone flux energy. I want to go see how much energy it costs per per thing. So I'm going to run into my... Well, I can just do it outside. I was going to go down to my mining area, but I can just go hit some stone somewhere. All right, let's see. So full is 400,000. One hit with the stone brings me down to 398,000. So it uses about a little less than 1,500. It's like 1,305, which is a nice... Odd number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Am I doing that math right? 1,305 redstone flux per swing. So, I mean, you'll get like a good two or 300 uses out of it before you have to recharge it, so that should be fine. All right, guys. For now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll be back next time. Like I said, we will do um, some more tree farming just because we're going to need more wood to supply this crazy amount of uh, supply that we're going to need to keep going. Um, and then what we should probably do as a finale to the whole, you know, farming and power supply system is automate some fertilizer. And uh, we'll come up with a way to do that. We might even use thermal expansion because thermal expansion has some automated workbench stuff. All right, guys, take it easy.